Welcome to a very Christmassy Tickabilla. Are you having a nice time? Great! People rushing here and there, a kind of magic in the air. It's Christmas. Yes, it's Christmas. Chestnuts roasting on a fire, children singing in the choir. It's Christmas. Yes, it's Christmas. Oh, the smell of the turkey, the spices and cloves, the pale white berries on the mistletoe. Here it comes, here it comes, it's Christmas. So everybody sing our song. We love Christmas. We love Christmas. We love Christmas. Everybody's ready now, waiting for the magic hour. Gather with our friends and our family. Christmas time comes once a year, a time for fun, a time for cheer. It's Christmas. Yes, it's Christmas. Tinsel round the Christmas tree, a gift for you, a gift for me. It's Christmas. Yes, it's Christmas. Oh, the sound of sleigh bells floating on the breeze. Look up in the sky and you will see. Here it comes, here it comes, it's Christmas. So everybody sing a song. We love we love Christmas. We love Christmas. Everybody's ready now, waiting for the magic hour. Gathered with our friends and our family. That's why we love Christmas. That's why we love Christmas. That's why we. <laughs> the Tico Billa house is decorated for Christmas and we're all feeling in a Christmassy mood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you been decorating your house? We've decorated the Christmas Tickabilla windows and the Christmas Tickabilla doors and Justin and Tamba have been decorating the tree. Have you finished yet, Tamba? Nearly, Simon. That's it. There. Oh, uh, Tamba, could you throw me that decoration that you've got? Ready? Yeah, ready. OK. Catch! Whoa, whoa, <laughs> wow, you're juggling! I am! Now, can you tell how many Christmas decorations I'm juggling with? Uh, <laughs> Should we count them? Yes! All right, and why don't you count them with me? Here we go. One! one. That's one. Two! Two! <laughs> two and three! Three. Woo three! Three decorations! Can you juggle with four, Justin? Four? OK, I'll give it a go. Go on, then. Throw me another decoration, then. Ready? Uh, yeah, ready. Wow. <laughs> right. Here we go. Bit of a warm-up on this one. Here goes four. Here we go. Yeah! Wow. I did it! Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Justin! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I've got some more decorations. Oh. For the tree here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, I'd forgotten that you could juggle. Oh, yeah. Hey, I can teach you if you like. You can teach. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> juggle some more. Right. Juggle some more. Okay, here oh, we go. Well, no. we could juggle or we could make something special. Make something special? Oh, I'd love to make something special. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, oh, okay, then, you two. And I'd better put these decorations on the tree. There we go. What are we going to make, Lorna? Well, I thought that we could make a special Christmas star. <gasps> that sounds lovely. Mm. How are we going to do that? Well, if you look here, I've got two... Oh, what shape do you think this is, Tamba? Um, well, it's got one, mm -hmm. two, yeah. three sides. Yeah. That's a triangle, isn't it? It is a triangle. Mm -hmm. How are we going to make it into a star? Oh, well, um, what if we went like that? Ah, that looks...
looks like a star. That does look like a star. Now let's glue those two triangles together. If I put a big dollop oh, of glue right in the middle of this triangle, could you help me to stick it down? Okay. Okay, if I move that over there mm -hmm. and I put that triangle on top, can you press it down for me? <laughs> Thank you, Tambra. Now we need to decorate our star. And over here, I've got some lovely tinsel. So, now I thought that would look really nice right in the middle of our star. So if I put another big dollop of glue there, mm. would you like to put that on for me? Oh, yeah. There you go. It looks very shiny, it doesn't it? Very shiny. Oh, you've been very gentle with that tinsel. There. <laughs> there we go. That's looking lovely already. Now, I've also got, look, these are silvery pipe cleaners. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to wind them around my finger like this. Are you ready? Yes. Round and round, round and round, round, and, round, round. and round and round. And if I take it off, Boing. Ah, it looks like a spring. <laughs> it looks like a spring. And I think we could put that little spring just there. If I get some sticky tape, there we go. And I sticky tape that down. Oh, boingy, boingy. Yeah, boingy, boingy <laughs> for our special stuff. Now, would you like to make a boingy, boingy? <gasps> yes, please. Do you need my finger? I will need your finger. Are you ready? <laughs> Right, so we have to go <laughs> round, and round, and round, and round, and there's... Oh, 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 it doesn't want to come off, Tamba. Yo! Boingy, boingy. <laughs> and if I put that one just here... There we go. very glittery, It too. does look really glittery, doesn't it? I'll put that just there. Right, now oh, we've still got some points with nothing on. And over here, I've got, you know what this is? That's foil. It is foil. And if I tear this foil in half, like that. Noisy, isn't it? It is very, very noisy, Tamba. <laughs> and if you have one bit of foil, mm -hmm. and I have the other bit of foil, what do we do? We're going to squash it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Have you squashed your foil? That's a lovely bit of squashing. Thank you very much. And if I put your squashy foil there, and I'll put my squashy foil just there. Looks great, doesn't it? It does look great. I'm going to sticky tape those down there, like that. And I'll get a bit more sticky tape. And sticky tape your bit of foil. It's so shiny. <laughs> it's very glittery, but we've still got two points with nothing on. Hmm. And look what I've got. Ooh. Glitter. Oh, we love glitter. So if we put some glitter on here, I think it will look beautiful. Yeah, won't it? And look, if I use this glue and make a swirly shape there, and a swirly shape just there. Swirly whirlies. Swirly whirlies. All over our little star. And then, if we sprinkle our glitter, Glittery wittery. <laughs> Glittery wittery. <laughs> wow. Now, you ready for this? And if I turn that over. <gasps> Look. Oh, it's so beautiful. Simon, Justin. Look at our star! Oh, Tamba, that's lovely! Hey, that'll come in handy later on. That sounds like the clock. Shall we see what time it is? Come on! You can say the tickabilla clock rhyme if you like. Tickabilla, tockabilla. Tickabilla, tock. What's the time on the tickabilla clock? On the long hand, is pointing up towards the number 
12. Do you know what that means? That means it's something o'clock. And the shorthand is pointing towards the number 12 as well. So the clock says it's 12 o'clock. But what's underneath the clock? Timber, it's you. No, it's our star. Lorna said there's a star in the story. Of course, because today's story is a very special one. And VJ is going to tell it through one of the windows with some friends of ours. Will you say the windows rhyme with us? Ready? How, How many, many windows? windows? One, two, three. Round, square or arched? Which one will it be? It's the... Round window! Hello there. We've come to a city farm to tell you our story today. It happened a long, long time ago in a little town called Nazareth where there lived a young woman called Mary. One day, Mary was visited by an angel. The angel told Mary she was going to have a baby, a very special baby. Before Mary had had her baby, the Emperor made an announcement. I, the Emperor, announce that everyone in this country go back to the place they were born to be counted. So Mary and her husband, Joseph, had to set off on a long journey to a little town called Bethlehem. They took their donkey with them to help them on their way. It was a long, hard journey. The roads were rough and it was nearly time for Mary to have her baby. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they tried to find a room to stay in. But all the rooms were full. There was nowhere to stay. Sorry, no room here. Full up! No room. We're full. Full up! There was nowhere to stay, and Mary was soon going to have her baby. But the wife of an innkeeper took pity on Mary and Joseph. She didn't have any rooms to stay in, but she said they could stay in a stable with the animals. It wasn't much, but at least it was dry and warm. Mary and Joseph thanked her kindly. Bye, you. That's so kind. And so they went to the stable to make themselves comfortable. Is that the end of the story? Oh no, uh, that's just the first part of it. Sarah, Jane and Paul are going to tell us more a bit later on. I love the donkey, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, he was very gentle, wasn't he? Mm. What are you making? Well, I'm going to make some people to go into the Tickabilla Christmas crib. Oh, mm. Mary and Joseph. That's right. I'm going to make Joseph first. Now, I've got some cardboard rolls here. Now, if I take one and roll it in this piece of paper, it can be the body of Joseph. Now, you don't have to use tissue paper like this. You can use any kind of paper, really. Christmas wrapping paper or some coloured paper. And the good thing about cardboard rolls is you can squidge the paper in the ends like that. Now then, I'm just going to sticky tape this part down. And do you think this will stand up? Um, yes. I'll give it a try. There. Ah. And that's Joseph's body. <laughs> now, the next thing we need to make is Joseph's arms and hands. And I've got a pipe cleaner there. And if I lay that on the paper and just roll it around the top, I can stick that down. And this pipe cleaner is going to be Joseph's arms. Hmm. A bit more sticky tape on that side. And we'll get his body there. And we'll put his arms around like that, you ah, see. Ah, that's good. I'll fold up the ends so they can be Joseph's hands. Hmm. And a bit more sticky tape. 
to make sure that the arms stick on round the back like that and it becomes Joseph's arms but also it's a bit like a cape oh, he see. might wear. Now what's missing? He needs a, a head or a face. <laughs> yes he does need a head and a face. Now I've got a bit of envelope here and if I take something like this glitter container and I'll draw around it can you tell me what shape this is? Um, ah, it's a circle! It is a circle. I'm going to cut it out. Now, if you're cutting out any shapes in paper like this, make sure you get someone to help you with the scissors, because they're a bit sharp. There. And this is Joseph's face. Like that! <laughs> I'll turn it over. And they come apart because you've cut around them and we'll use this one now we've got some eyes which way should we put it we'll put it this way we've got some eyes there for joseph and should we do a big smiley mouth yes. he's very happy because he's <laughs> managed to find some room at the stable when there was no room anywhere else now then, if I cut some sticky glue and put that on the back of this bit of card, this envelope there, we can put that on to make Joseph's face like <laughs> that, you see? <laughs> he does look very happy. Now mm. then, and take a bit of kitchen cloth and fold it over like that. Do you know what shape that is, Tamba? Um, it's got one, two, three sides. A triangle! It is a triangle. And we put this kitchen cloth over Joseph's head like that. And I've got an elastic band here. And I have to be very careful with elastic bands. Perhaps if you can get someone to help you with this bit, because they can ping a bit. And I'll put it over the top of the kitchen cloth and fold it over, then we get to have Joseph's headscarf on, like wow, that. And there's that's, Joseph. That's good. Yeah. Simon, hmm? do you need that tube over there? Ah, well, one of these is going to be for Mary, but you can, uh, you can have that one. <gasps> Thank you. Well, what do you want it for, Tamba? It's a surprise. <laughs> I wonder what Tamba's going to make. <laughs> Oh, hello, Luna. Hello, Tamba. You're just in time to meet our choir. Choir? Mm -hmm. Ah! Wow! Hello, everyone. Hello, Tamba! We're very lucky to have the Finchley Children's Music Group with us today, and the carol they're about to sing will help Sarah Jane and Paul tell the next part of our Christmas story. friends of ours. They're going to be shepherds in the story. Now the shepherds were busy looking after their sheep when suddenly, oh, look! Wow. wow! An angel appeared to them. And the angel said, don't be afraid, I have some very exciting news. Hurry down to Bethlehem for a special baby is being born in a stable. So the shepherds and their sheep set off to find the baby Jesus.
And let me introduce you to three more friends of ours who are going to be the wise men in our story. Now, the three wise men were studying the stars. They noticed a very bright star shining in the east. It was surely the sign of a great king. So, they got ready to go on a long and difficult journey to meet this new king. The star still shone bright in the sky, and the wise men decided to follow it all the way to the stable in Bethlehem. Now that was beautiful. Thank you so much, all of you. But I'm going to talk to the conductor first of all. Now, Sue, I saw you going like this when they were singing. What does that mean? Well, it's keeping the time for the children to make sure that they all sing together. Right, so if you wanted the children to sing quickly, what would you do? I'd beat quickly. Can you show us? Yes. One, two, one, two. All oh, right. And if you wanted them to sing slowly, what would you do? I'd beat slowly. Can you show us that, please? Yes. <laughs> one, two, one, two. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I'm going to speak to somebody here. Can I speak to you, Olivia? Now, how long have you been in the choir? Well, I started in the infants when I was four or five, and I've now been in the choir six or seven years. Oh, wow. So that's a quite a long time. And Gabby, can you step forward for me? Now, how often do you have to practice? Well, if you're in the juniors, one and a half hours every Sunday. Mm -hmm. And if you're in the seniors, two hours every Sunday. Right, so that's quite a lot. But if, it, if there's a concert, you have to practice extra. Even more practicing. Yeah. Well, it sounds so lovely. Thank you all very much. And I hope you'll be able to sing some more for us later. Would that be okay? Yes! Now, I wonder how Justin is getting on with that crib. There. Well, the crib is finished. There is Mary, and there's Joseph. That's right. And behind them, we've got the shepherds and the three wise men. And look down here, we've even got some animals. And <laughs> I've made another animal for the crib. It's a donkey! Oh, that's a great donkey, Tamba. <laughs> Where are we going to put him? Um, Shall we put him there. by there? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's lovely, but there's one person missing. Do you know who it is? Uh -huh. Do you? Oh, I know. It's the baby Jesus. That's right. Ah! Uh -huh. 
so everyone gathered at the stable in Bethlehem. The wise men gave their precious gifts to the baby Jesus. And the shepherds gave him some sheep. And that is why we still give presents today, to remember the night when a very special baby was born. Now finished. Uh, where's the donkey gone? Oh. Tamba? Tamba? What? Tamba seems to have disappeared. Well, that's a pity because it's time for our choir to sing one last Christmas carol. I'm sure he does, Tamba, and thank you all for helping us tell our story today. And thank you for watching it. From all of us here in the stable... Everyone! Merry Christmas! On Christmas Day in the morning!